Hey guys, John here from TheArxReview.com and today we're doing a buyer's guide for Olympic Barbell. I'm joined by Bass from SBS Gear and Bass, let's say I'm a CrossFit affiliate owner looking to deck out my gym with some Olympic bars or maybe just a, a garage user looking to get a single Olympic bar. What are some tips I should know before making that first purchase? Well, there's usually generally four tips that you want to be looking out for. One is price, two is the bar itself, three is the ends, and four is the coating on the coating finish on the barbell. Okay, well, well we've got the SPS Olympic bar right in front of us right now. Let's talk about the first point you made, which is the most important, is the price. Yeah, you get what you pay for at the end mm -hmm. of the day. You spend $100 on the bar, you're gonna get a $100 bar. You're gonna buy a $500 bar, you're gonna get a reasonably good bar. You spend $1,000, that's the next tier above. You know, you get something state of the art. And if you're a new to CrossFit or you're a new CrossFit owner, would you suggest, you know, spending a couple hundred dollars on a bar? Or would you suggest spending, you know, I, I, I suggest spending about $400 plus on a bar. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason being that some of the cheaper bars, they've got Allen keys and stuff on the ends, they fall off, the bars bend, the bearings break and so forth. Cool, now let's talk about the, the, the bar itself and I suppose the knurling. What are some tips we should know about that? All right, the bar itself, uh, General Olympic bar is 28 millimeters. The cheaper the bar, the thicker they'll make it. Okay, the thicker, they make them thicker. The reason being they're using a cheaper steel, so they gotta stop them from bending somehow. And they just go make them wider and wider. Now the knurling as well, like we know that some bars are eliminating that middle knurling. Is that, a, is that something we should look for or not look for? That's totally personal preference. Uh, the middle knurling is for the grip for the back squat. Um, generally, the Olympic bar does have a center knurling, but that's totally optional on, on some bars. And uh, anything else we should know about the knurling in terms of like the, the Olympic the, the markers and so forth? Yeah, there are a set of standard Olympic markers on the bar. This is for the snatch and the clean and jerk, so you can get correct hand placement. Mm -hmm. Some of them have dual markings with the powerlifting and the Olympic. If it's a specific Olympic bar, the marking should be correct for the Olympic size. And now let's talk about the coating. Uh, obviously there's a few different coatings you can take. What's a, the what's a preference there? All right, uh, this is a matte finish in a nitrate. Uh, you can get a zinc coating, which is quite good, but we tend to find that the knurling sometimes isn't as rough, with, it's a little bit smooth with the zinc finish. And then you've got the cheaper bars that use that chrome finish, which tends to rust and flake. And uh, after a while, the, the chrome flakes keep, tend to fall off it. <laughs> when you're doing a snatch or something. When you snatch or get press. In your hair. And uh, obviously the, the final one was the ends, right? Yes. So, the ends, there's several types of ends you can get for bars. Uh, most power bars will just use a bush. Uh, Olympic bars will usually, generally use a needle bearing. These ones use five needle bearings per side. Um, reason being to get the spin on the snatch and the clean and jerk. What tends to happen with the bush, uh, they tend to get squashed with the excessive dropping of the bar and oval out and the ends tend to seize. So in some of those cheaper bars, we might find them seizing up and... Exactly, and you won't get a roll on it. And uh, what will happen, it'll affect your, your performance of your snatch and your clean and jerk. And with some of the cheaper bars as well, would you find they might bend a lot easier than some of the uh, more expensive bars as oh, well? Oh, definitely. It all comes down to heat treatment and quality of steel. Okay. Um, you know, you can buy quality of steel, which is fairly poor, made it out of recycled fridges and so forth. And you can buy brand new, you know, virgin steel, which is not going to bend on you. And finally, warranty. Is that something you should look at before making a purchase? Definitely. You want to at least, a, for a general CrossFit bar, uh, two to five year warranty will usually get you uh, a reasonably good bar. Uh, some companies do offer a lifetime warranty, but that is limited lifetime warranty using their bar, their bumpers, their lifting okay. platform and so forth. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, Bass. If you want to find out more about Bass's products, you can head to sbsc.com.